y'all be having the nerve to do clients like this too. Like you, <laughs> I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset. Stop this. Stop this. And then y'all like to dab, dab, dab and think that this little sponge is going to take care of everything. <laughs> It's me, Shanice, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about beauty and all things bougie. It's time for another video. Yes, another video time. Hey, listen, okay? I know what you're thinking, okay? I'm on camera, bald, flipped, bald faced out here, okay? But this is what you guys have asked for, okay? So many people have asked, Shanice, why do you always come on camera with your eyebrows already done? So I'm gonna give you guys what you're asking for. You asked for eyebrow tutorials. I don't know how else to do it without coming on without my eyebrows on. Now, in today's tutorial, we're gonna do things a little different. And we're just being honest, I'm not an eyebrow guru, okay? Every time I do my brows, like especially for filming purposes, I come up here, I pray, I say, Lord, help me with my brows today. And he just blesses me. <laughs> but I am no eyebrow guru, like I, I just do them. So, but y'all been asking, you've been asking for a brow tutorial. So I'm gonna give you what you're asking for because you guys are my lovely subbies and I love you, but just know it's not, it was not in my plans to do so. Okay, but like I was saying, on one eye, we're gonna do what I would do, like my routine, what I would recommend, and on this side or on the other side, we're gonna do what I hate seeing with eyebrows. So the goal is that we can all step our eyebrows up couple of notches come up okay now before we get into the video of course I have a couple of reminders don't forget to subscribe to my channel become a lovey subby today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to please comment on the video this is the emoji we'll be using down below don't forget to please share this video girl I'm not I just feel like this week I'm not I'm gonna spare you I'm not gonna go into detail about how I feel about this but share me share me with your friends share the video okay share me and last but not least don't forget to don't forget to ring a the bell a a ring a the bell don't forget to ring the bell so that way you're notified every time that I upload which is every Sunday at 6 30 p.m. Central Standard Time and sometimes on Wednesdays for a little bonus content okay don't miss out on those bonuses but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video all right so let's go ahead and jump into these brows sorry there's a bee outside the window and I thought it was on the inside and it just scared the mess out of me anyway let's go ahead and talk about these brows ladies so first things first you want to make sure that your brows are groomed as you can see i'm a little you know bit on the struggle bus with my brows um my natural brows they they're good right up and through here but my tails are like very thin and non-existent and i just have to be careful when i'm grooming during quarantine i just take my tweezers like this and I just get any loose hairs that might be out of place. But it's not about being perfect at all. It's just about getting it to a nice place to work with, okay? You don't need to be out here, you know what I'm saying, looking like a brow tech. That's not the goal. The goal is just, you know, all of the hairs that would be like down here from like new growth, pluck those or use some type of system to get those out Okay, so that way you can at least have a nice bald under brow area is what we're going for, okay? So I'm gonna start out with what I would do. So you're gonna wanna take a spoolie of some sort like this and you're gonna wanna brush your brows up. This is gonna be the good brow, this is gonna be the bad brow. What I do first is I take my spoolie and I brush my brows this way. So I brush them the wrong way first to get them to like stand up and then I brush them up like this and kind of down. So up and kind of like down like that and by doing this this is going to bring out the shape that you're going to want to highlight or illuminate when you're feeling in your brows on this side we're not going to do that and as you can see it's just kind of they're laying any old kind of way so we're just going to leave it like that so after you brush your brows in place you're going to want to go ahead and fill them in i have been using this elf eyebrow gel and this is in the shade espresso what i do first is i just take my angled brush like this and this is kind of thick very dense kind of a stiff brush and i'm just going to dip it in here just very ever so gently the first thing you want to do is outline the natural shape of your brow so we're going to start underneath and then my brows are a little bit short for my liking 
So I, I extend them just a little bit. So I just take that initial line and I extend it just a little bit like that. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the brow. So I am just taking my brow gel and I'm just kind of filling in sparsely. And then I'm gonna do a more defined line still following the shape of my brow on top. And I'm just gonna take my gel and just kind of fill in the front portion as well. And it's okay if it looks a little messy right now because we're gonna clean it up as soon as we go back and sculpt out our brows. Now remember, I told you guys I'm no eyebrow guru, okay? I just do them. Some people on YouTube, when they start drawing it in, it just looks perfect. Mine usually don't. They look a little hot mess-ish like this. But I'm gonna talk about what not to do before we get into the sculpting on this side. So one thing that I see a lot of people doing is they use too dark of a brow pencil so they'll use black and never use black on your brows i don't care if you're my skin tone deeper do not use black on your eyebrows because it just looks a hot mess it looks a hot mess just as i thought trash again they did not groom the brow and then they'll just kind of overdraw the shape so they'll do that and then they'll overdraw the shape and not stick to the natural shape of the brow. As you can see here, my brow is inside of this and now I have this huge eyebrow. And then they'll just kind of shade it all in, no light strokes. And then one thing you wanna be aware of is where you're stopping your brows. So I learned that your brows should stop at the outer corner of your eye. So they'll overdraw the tail of their brow. So we have one brow filled in, too dark for one, overdrawn, okay, overextended, and kind of a little bit of a hot mess. This brow looks a hot mess right now, but it's not in real life. Okay, trust me. So next we're gonna get into sculpting. So when you're sculpting your brow, you wanna use a concealer shade that is one to two shades lighter than your natural skin tone. This, as you can see, it's one to two shades lighter. It's not gonna really do too much because you do want it to look like it's been freshly groomed, but you don't want it to look like a highlighter brow. So I just use about that much concealer. It does not take the whole tube to sculpt your brows. I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. I just take a little bit of concealer like this and I'm just gonna dip that in there and I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt out the brow. Okay, so once you have sculpted out your bot the bottom of your brow like you want, what you can do is you can drag down your concealer like this, make it easier to blend. And then I just take my finger first and I just kind of blend that out and we'll just leave it like that. So you see we kind of have a nice crisp and clean brow underneath there. Now for this bad boy over here. First of all, not only do I see, you know, too dark of a brow color, I see too much concealer. Why are we, first of all, you see the concealer, the little dot that I put on my hand? There's still an abundance of concealer here that will be more than enough to do this brow. But y'all like to go ahead and do the whole entire, I mean, y'all be doing the whole entire tube on your on your brow. I, I, don't, I don't get that. Not only is it too light, but this is what y'all do. Y'all be going eight to nine to 10 shades lighter, eight to nine to 10 shades lighter than what you really are. And you be taking your brush like this and you be smearing the whole tube on, like this. Now why in the H word do I need this much concealer under my brow? No ma'am. <coughs> so y'all be up under your brow with this much concealer and no one knows why. And then you have the nerve to not blend it all the way down. I don't, I don't get that. I'll be taking y'all little sponge and doing this little dip dip dab like this gonna do something. I'm not even gonna say anything else about that. Okay. okay, let's go back to the right eye. So we've kind of gotten one to two shades lighter underneath the brow. And then on top of the brow, I suggest using a shade that is your skin tone on top of your brow. Whenever I do it, I just use my foundation. So I'll use whatever foundation I'm using that day to sculpt the top of my brow. I 
as you can see when using like a, a foundation shade on top it just makes it easier to blend with your foundation application and then I just take my spoolie brush and I go ahead and I brush my brows again just to blend out the product so I'll brush from here over this way and then I'll brush the front down to kind of give that the ombre effect okay so back to what you shouldn't do on this eye and that is use that same too light concealer shade on top of the brow I'm so upset right now <laughs> I'm so upset right now because this is really what's being done out here in these streets. Like, why is this? Why? Tell me why. You can't tell me why because it don't make sense. Then y'all take y'all little sponge again and just dab, dab, dab. Why? Why did we feel the need to do that? Tell me. Please tell me why we felt the need to do that. Y'all don't br like blend. So y'all leave it like this. Y'all might do like a little in the front to give it a little ombre. And then y'all leave it like this. I'm just confused as to who thought this was cute. I look ashy. I look ashy, sis. I'm, I'm upset because I look ashy. And then the last thing that I do on my brows is I just blend under here with a dark shade on a fluffy brush and I just kind of blend just to marry that concealer so this is how I do my brow like this right here and I mean it's not my best you know brow work or whatever because I guess I got a little nervous on camera but this is pretty much how I do my eyebrows I like mine to look very natural not overdrawn at all I mean the spoolie is your best friend sis just continue to blend I don't know what this is to like bring it right here so it looks like you got a unibrow why do we have to do that? Okay, so I'm done. I'm gonna get off my tangent. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this and do the rest of my face. And I'm gonna have a great day. And y'all be having the nerve to be going nowhere and then put, you know, 25 mm lash on with this brow and think you guys are bad. You call yourself baddies. I don't know why, but alright, ladies. So that is the end of the tutorial for today. This is my brow, how I usually do it. This is what y'all be giving me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for joining me and spending a little bit of time with me on this Sunday evening. Of course, I love you guys. I love all of my lovey subbies. Hello to my new lovey subbies. I hope that you guys come back. All the videos won't be like this. I feel like I just vented to you guys for like 30 minutes. So all of the videos won't be like this, but this is a hot mess. So yeah. All right, ladies, we will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.